Now we're going to start getting dynamic and adding images into our edit. So the first thing we need to do is import those images that we want to use into our project file. So we've got three images here I want to add. There are some really useful sites like Unsplash where you can download images for free as long as you reference the people that have taken them. And then the other thing we do is we use screenshots a lot from what we're teaching or something that is relevant from our YouTube channel. So one of our images is a screenshot that we've taken and the other two are images that we downloaded from Unsplash. So what we're going to do is go back to this 2.5 million views. So I want to add an image here to show exactly what we are talking about. So let's head to our images and we're going to grab the screenshot that we've taken of our channel analytics and we're going to drag and drop that in there. Now what happens a lot, the image that you have doesn't fit the dimensions of your current sequence. So we need to edit that. So we're going to go up to effect controls and we're going to resize this until it looks good and it fits on our image. Now we want to zoom in so people can see these figures. So it's just over two and a half million. And you can see that graph quite nicely of the YouTube channel. Now we like to ease these in. We don't want to hard cut, so we don't want to go from us straight to there. What we can do is you can blend with the opacity, or you can just head down here, go to the effects, video transitions, dissolve, and an additive dissolve is a fairly simple one to add, and it just dissolves that in. So we like to shorten it a bit so it's not too long, but it does add a little bit smoother to the transition. Let's add the additive dissolve on the end there and shorten it and let's have a look. Perfect. Now that text we can tweak it. Let's move it down so it's in the right kind of spot and we can actually make that text black and remove the background which will look a whole lot better. So let's go into the graphics there. We're going to edit this text. We're going to change this color to black and we're going to remove that background and look how much better that looks. Small tweaks like that make the big difference and let's have a look. That's a great way to add an image. Now I want to show you how to add two other different images. Let's head a bit further into the edit, grab the images and we're going to drop this first one in here, resize it and drop the second one in next to it and resize it. Let's have a look at that. Okay, those are really zoomed in. So let's resize them so that they fit. Move it down a bit. That looks good. And zoom this one out. And that looks pretty good. Now we want to ease those in. We don't want them to be harsh. So let's add an additive dissolve at the start here. Shorten that. And add one at the end here. And shorten that. And let's have a look now. And that's a really quick way to add images as B-roll. In the next video, we're going to show you how to add some dynamic movement into these images just to add a little bit of spice and help re-engage your audience.